welcome to King's Inn Fire Station. Um, part of today is we thought we'd show you around the station and show you what we do in our downtime, also what we do in our operational side of our, our work. So the station consists of basically five watches. Uh, four whole time watches, consisting of red, blue, white and green, who staffs the station 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And to back us up, we have what's known as the on-call, who have everyday jobs and respond to us on alerts when we need them. So starting at the station, if you look upstairs, we have the relaxing area. So when the crews get a bit of downtime, they can actually come up here, relax, watch the TV, they've got a pool table, and they've got a mess table where they generally all eat. We can also use this as a lecture room, hence the reason for having the computer, which is logged into the TV area. As we move away from the, from the recreational area, you might be surprised to know that we have got a kitchen. The kitchen's populated most of the time on, on evenings to get the food out to the crews, to keep the strengths and fitness up. So when they do get called out, they can respond as efficiently as they can. On the opposite side of this um, area, we have various offices, which are used by various different junior officers and the crews to do their admin work as and when needed. If we look over here at the moment, due to COVID risks, um, the pole shafts are, are closed off, but generally, crews would use the pole shafts when alerted and turned out to be able to get from the top floor to the ground floor as quickly as they can. In the present current uh, climate, we're actually still using the stairs to, uh, to move between the floors. So if you want to follow me through, we'll now make, uh, make our way downstairs and have a look to see the uh, appliance bays. So Kings Inn Station has been around for, for a lot of years, so this is Kings Inn North. Um, within the past four years, we've had a second station built, um, which is over the south side of the town. So within Kings Inn, we've got two resource areas. Um, Kings Inn North holds the majority of the appliances, which we'll have a look at in a minute, and Kings Inn South holds the stuff, um, which is known as our TRU and our boat. And we'll talk about that in a bit more detail as we go on throughout the day. So as you'll see through one of the videos, as we come through, we've got a turnout computer. So if we do get tipped out, this is where our crews come to, to respond and see where they're heading towards. And if you remember rightly, when we was upstairs, we had a look at the pole shafts, and this is the bottom end of the pole shafts where the crews would drop down to, to make their way through to get a fire kit, and subsequently onto the appliances. As we come through this first door, you can start to see the fire kit now. So these are known as our muster areas. This is where kit is stored and this is where the crews will come and get their kit if they're turned out onto a fire call. Moving through the muster area, we then come into the appliance bay. As you can see, as has quite happened since the, uh, the media crew's been over filming, we've actually got a fire appliance out at the moment. So this area here is normally staffed by an appliance called Kings in Papa One. And if we look up at the next appliance, you can see the yellow placard on there which tells you what appliance it is, and it will generally tell you where it's from. So KLS is Kings Lynn South, P7 is the appliance um, identification. So in this first bay, we'd normally have Kings Lynn Papa 1. Kings Lynn Papa 1 generally staff to um, all known small fires, fires in the open, and it also backs up Kings Lynn P7 on, on larger incidents. Kings Lynn P7 is known as an HRE pump. Um, it's got heavy rescue equipment on it, so it's got capabilities of dealing with road traffic accidents, uh, including lorries. If we walk along through the bays, as you can see, Kingston's got quite a, a large amount of resources here, and each one of these appliances are used for, for different, um, different jobs and different tasks. And again, when you have to walk through later on in the day, you'll see one of the appliances and see exactly what we carry. The third appliance in our bay is known as Kingston Pupper 8. So when we spoke about the on-call guys who come on and support the crews, this is staffed by the on-call guys. Again, it's available 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Depending on where you live in your local area, generally there's a big recruitment drive looking for on-call staff. So if you think it's something that you're interested in and something you can give availability to, perhaps it's worth approaching your on-call station and having a chat and seeing what's available and seeing if you can assist them and they can help you through the process. The fourth appliance we have in our bay is known as our ALP, or Aerial Ladder Platform. This one's been at Kings Lynn since 2002, and it replaced the earlier hydraulic platform which we had, which was dated back to 1972. 
This can be used for rescues, it can be used for walk downs, or it can be used as a basic water monitor. We can just set it up and allow loads of water just to pour out of it. Here's the other appliance that are now just returning from their fire call. If we uh, open up the bay door, we'll get them to come straight in. So these guys have just been out on an incident. They're now coming back. So what they'll do is once again, they'll just do a quick inventory check to make sure the equipment is there. And they'll also clean down any kit which they've used. That includes their personal issue kit, so their fire kit, but it also includes any equipment, practical equipment, which they may use on the job. The most we're riding at the moment within Norfolk are Cruiser 5, so that'll be five personnel onto the pump. And that's the maximum that we'll ride just to make sure that we're ensuring our, uh, our COVID restrictions are still in place. Moving back onto the ALP, uh, we have three in the county, one at North Earlham, one at Yarmouth, and a third one being here at Kings Lynn. The final appliance we have in this bay is what's known as our EPU, so our Environmental Protection Unit. This has come in line with the Environment Agency to help us deal with anything to do with environmental protection. So that could be from uh, hazardous material um, leakage, so a gas leak, and we carry various similar stuff on here um, to protect waterways, downways, to monitor the gas levels, and to monitor to toxic atmospheres. This is predominantly a side curtained lorry, which has a ramp at the back. Everything inside it is stored in containers, which can be taken out and moved to the um, area of the hazard so we can deal with it in, in quick time. Finally, in the, uh, in the area of the uh, appliance bays, we have on Kingsden, we're quite lucky that we have a, a fairly decent gym. As you can see, some of us don't use it too much. Other guys use it plenty. So we've got a fully kitted out gym here and again, Part of the expectation is people maintain their fitness to pass their, their regular fire service fitness tests. If we move outside, I'll just give you a quick brief on, on what we have outside of, the, um, outside of the fire station. So over recent years, obviously there's a big drive on collaborative working. And within Kingsden, we have various different workshops. We have workshops for the county council, and we also have workshops to accommodate the, the police vehicles. Further training facilities which we have at Kings Inn as we come round, and you can see a crew actually up there training at the moment. We have a, a tower and we have a, a breathing apparatus chamber. So the breathing apparatus chamber can be filled with smoke and we can set up di different scenarios for people to go in and train working in smoke and darkness. As you see the crews here at the moment are working on their safe working at height kit. So it's a good training facility where we can set up various different anchor points for lowering or raising casualties. To the left hand side of the breathing apparatus chamber you might be able to see a horse box. We have a, um, a mock horse, which can be laid in various different um, circumstances to practice removal of horses from dikes, from ditches, and to actually make the horse back onto its four feet and keep the, these sort of owners and the horses safe. If you see over there, we've got an RCC compound, so we have loads of different scrap vehicles come in, so we get to practice on all the vehicles which you can see there and more to make sure that we're efficient and effective when we come up to um, dealing with road traffic collisions. Over to the right hand side of the tower is the final area really which we have outside which is our, our training rooms. These can be rented out um, and they're generally used for theoretical training input. They're obviously set up with computer systems so that you can um, deliver PowerPoints. And that's really Kingsland Station in its entirety.